Hello fellow YouTubers, Trouble835 here with a pickups video. Uh, ironically enough, uh, yesterday uh, Toys R Us had a sale. Uh, you bought a clearance game and then you would get a, one of these uh, Lego Hero Packs, which I'll go into more in a little bit, uh, for free with it. And uh, since these are all going to be my Valentine's gift, uh, and the reason why she gave it to me is because she already knows that I'm getting her for Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm going to get her Easebook 1 and 2 for the PSP. Uh, which comes out right after Valentine's Day. So she decided to give me what I was getting early. Uh, which I had to go back to later that day to get the third one so I could get the third hero pack. So, But the game she got me at, at Toys R Us, the first one for the Wii, is Heavenly Guardian. Which I looked at the cover of this and almost picked this up before, but I never have uh, until now. Now, I went back with her later to get the last hero pack, and the game I got directly for the Wii is called Ocean Commander. Now you look at the cover and you go, wow, that looks kind of like a kitty game, you know, you're like, oh, you know. But then you look at the back and it's a shmup, a shooter. So, really cool, I can't wait to check that out. And then the third game I got for Valentine's Day, which she got at Toys R Us, I'm only going to mention the price of this because how cheap she got it. She got this brand new at Toys R Us for $6.99, and that'd be Fantasy Star Portable for the PSP. I've actually played a couple of hours of this today, going down to my mom's for her uh, husband's birthday. Um, this is actually a sequel to the PS2 Fantasy Star Universe and its expansion pack. And this is more of a hack and slash RPG or an action RPG. And it's not a traditional based RPG. And uh, I'm actually enjoying it so far. So uh, I'll be putting more time into that. I know Fantasy Star Portable 2 came out here uh, in September. And I know in Japan here, uh, February 14th, I believe, Fantasy Star Portable 2. Infinity comes out over there with uh, which adds one new race, adds a new world and a new uh, another story uh, to it. So hopefully that comes out here eventually. So let's get to the hero packs. Now these hero packs are all Lego. What I mean by hero pack, they pack in a large T-shirt which is for a kid, and a gamer's guide to the actual game. So this one's for Lego Batman with the shirt I am Batman. This one is Star Wars. The Complete Saga. And then the final one is Indi Lego Indiana Jones. Those are really cool to have. It's really cool that she got those. How she saw those, I don't know, but that's that's my wife for you. She finds those things. So, that same day, I was at work when she got that stuff. Um, and she calls me on the phone. I was just getting done at work on Saturday. And she goes, you know... I'm at GameStop and uh, they have Dragon Quest 4. Uh, do you have it? And I said, Well, yeah. She goes, Are you sure? I go, Yeah, I have Dragon Quest 4. She's never seen me play it, but I have. I've tried it before. And so she goes, Well, they need you to come down here then. And so I go down there and everybody, if you have a, a GameStop, a GameStop card, uh, if you buy, I don't remember if it's two games or two used games, whatever it is, and then you can buy a used game, what, $17.99 or less. And she got two games, so I got a game. And her first, uh, two games she got were Amazing Adventures The Forgotten Realms by PopCap for the DS which is basically a, a hidden object game and she loves those games next one she got was Magician's Quest Mysterious Times then the last one I got which I didn't even know was on the, the DS is Altier Altier Anna Annie, excuse me, Altier Annie Alchemist of Sierra Island which looks a lot like Altier Rorona which I'm currently playing on and off on the PS3 which I'm really enjoying that game a lot actually and so uh, about two weeks ago my wife and me tried the demo for The Biggest Loser on Xbox Connect and again it's a case of a demo where they try they give you the hardest exercises in the demo which really turned you off, like my wife, really, because she wanted an exercise one, and, and it really turned her off from it. And so she watched the videos on Your Shape Fitness Evolved, and she went out and picked that up. I actually tried this the other day, and that's why my legs hurt, because of lunges. Well, I'm not as in really good shape as I used to think I was, because I'm getting to be an old man, apparently. So, <laughs> And you could buy, there are a couple expand or DLC things you could buy for that, for one for 560 points and one for 400 Microsoft points. And she also, while she's out, got two other games. Now, remember, our PS3 is upstairs. My wife loves the PlayStation system, so she gets games for the PlayStation, where I normally play down here, so I get games for the 360, 
we kind of balance each other out that way. Though there are games I do want to play, or a guy for the PS2 that I play. So she went out and picked up Alpha Protocol because she was interested when she originally saw it. And then the next game she got was 3D Dot Heroes, which you know, supposed to be like like the original Zelda. So, guys, that's all the pick of the videos I have for now. So, till my next video.